Hi guys, so I think one of the most requested uh, Speedwino features for a long time uh, has been support for knock sensing. Now I began a little bit of work on this some time ago uh, and quickly decided that I wanted to use a, an external based knock controller um, where Speedwino simply takes a, a, an output from that that indicates knock um, and deals with it in that way. Um, there are a couple of reasons for doing that but mostly because I, I thought, given the philosophy of Speedwino and trying to keep things cheap, um, it was better to have a, an optional off-board unit that people can use. Now, the problem with that I discovered was that whilst there are quite a lot of knock controllers and knock detectors out there on the market, they're either really good or they're expensive. Oh, sorry, good, good and expensive, or they're cheap and not so great. Um, Obviously at the top end of the market you get units that are genuinely impressive such as the Plex um, and I looked at those and, and they are really fantastic quality. The, the way they're going about doing their knock detection is terrific um, but they're exceptionally expensive for what they do. Um, there are also software driven solutions such as TunaNerd um, which I'm super impressed with as well. Um, but needing a, an external hardware based controller was something that I felt I needed to, to do my own of in order to, to get something that I was happy with in terms of quality and in terms of pricing. So that brings us to what we have here which is a super super early prototype version of what I'm referring to as Speedy Knock. Um, it's a standalone uh, knock controller as you'd expect um, small OLED, OLED display on top of it. Um, the reason it's, uh, I think, a little bit more capable than some of the other lower priced units that are out there is, uh, what well, one, it takes a proper RPM feed, um, which gives us a couple of capabilities. The first is that it allows you to do what I consider to be the bare minimum for any knock detection system, really, um, which is RPM based threshold setting. Um, for those who have ever played with knock, you'll know that the uh, knock reading level increases with RPM, um, but that doesn't necessarily, in most cases, won't indicate the presence of knock. So you, you need a, a threshold that is adaptable and is configurable and will go up alongside your RPM. Um, that's one of the things that the RPM signal gives us. The other in this case is it allows uh, per cylinder knock detection based on um, a, an input around uh, top dead center for cylinder one. Um, all of the, again, what I consider to be bare minimum features are, are available for this, such as variable knock windows, um, configurable knock timing of that window, so you can specify how many degrees after a spark um, the knock window should begin um, and when it should end, so du duration based on, on a number of degrees or a, a, an absolute timing if you prefer. So I'm just going to plug it in and give you a quick static view of what it does on the bench. So you see there that we've got two lines. Um, top line here is the current knock threshold value uh, and the line down the bottom is the current knock reading, uh, obviously zero at the moment. On the right hand side we've got an RPM reading, a current value reading and a current threshold reading. Um, I unfortunately killed the first few lines on this display so that's why you can't see uh, those but there's also, at least for testing, a, a frames per second view up in the top left hand corner ordinarily. So I'm just going to go plug it into the car um, and you'll be able to see it running then. So here's the unit wired into the car. Uh, I'll just plug it in now. So you can see there we've got two lines on the, the board. We've got the top one which is the current threshold uh, which is based on the RPM and the current knock value down the bottom. Um, inputs here are simply the knock sensor, an RPM reading based on the ignition one signal, um, and just a ground. So if I go and give the engine a bit of a rev, you'll see the knock move as well as the, the threshold bar lifting up as well.
So once calibrated correctly uh, against a safe timing table, uh, the threshold bar then gives a, a fairly accurate way of determining when there's knock. Um, the method of calibrating that is or will be automated um, via the, the software uh, and will simply require a, a free rev pull uh, against a safe known ignition table. So as mentioned, this is a, a super early prototype version. It was really just to test the concept. Um, I do hope to have a, a beta version coming out shortly. Uh, I just need to do a little bit more work on the firmware of these. Um, and then I can do a design for a, a beta board that's uh, enclosed up in its own self-contained little unit. Um, so that's about it for now. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Um, but hopefully you'll all be seeing uh, speedy knock units coming out before too long. Thanks.